What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Yeah, I know Christmas is over, but today's a big day. And honestly, it should be celebrated as another national holiday. Three Musical Giveaway number nine is now live. And you know what? As I'm sitting here, I just don't know what to think about the white wheel. They're actually kind of grown on me, but fortunately, if all of a sudden I just decide to hate them, it's positive, so I can peel it right off. Guys, we got an awesome video in store today where we're gonna be heading on over to install one of the coolest touches to the 2016 Denali build that we've been working on for the past few weeks. This is a component that we dropped off a few weeks ago. They got shipped out. Now they're back in our possession. That's what we just loaded up into the back of the truck. We're gonna head on over there and it's gonna completely transform everything on the front of that truck. Arguably, this is the most critical modification that any diesel enthusiast could ever do to their 2015 to their 2019 Denali HD. So I'll see you guys over at the shop. All right, boys, welcome back to the shop. Man, I, I don't know, those white wheels are kind of growing on me. I'm gonna grab these boxes, I'll see you guys inside. Ugh. You know, I look at truck parts as the same, as kind of like groceries in a way, because rather than just taking two trips and taking the safe route and not busting the eggs, in this instance, why not just take two trips to not bust open over $2,000 in headlights? I don't know, because if I would have dropped them, that would have been really, really bad. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are upgrading all of the lighting from the front end of the Denali, and I'm so excited about it. The front of this truck looks sick. As a matter of fact, let me just turn you around real quick so you can take a look at this thing. I mean, there's no question in my mind, and I think that you would all well agree here, that like this whole front end is iconic in so many ways. I think once like the K2XX platform was introduced, especially for the HDs here in 2015, it was like a game changer. I mean, it brought OLEDs to the platform and it really kind of changed the game. Straight up, this was the Denali that I wanted before I bought my 2015 LML back in the day that I started my YouTube channel with. And it's so cool to have one now and especially in this setup and configuration. And honestly, it looks amazing. Like these headlights and the symmetry of everything just fits. It looks so aggressive and so classy at the same time, which I love. But today we're gonna make that look even better. And you might ask how, but trust me, just wait until you see. Here is the sickest set of headlights that I could say that I've ever gotten. And that's a bold statement. It's actually kind of a little bit hard to say exactly what I just said. I'm kind of contradicting myself because the headlights that we've gotten on every single one of our truck builds have been amazing. Super Duty Sands, Black Jacks, I mean, they've all been badass. But these, there's just something about tearing apart an OEM set of headlights and then doing what we did to these. So this headlight right here is going to fit directly into our K2XX platform right here, which is basically uh, some items on the VIN number. And they refer to this chassis as the K2XX, I believe. That was from the times that I used to work at General Motors. Long story short, these headlights only ever came on the 1500s from I believe it's 2016 to 20, I wanna say 18. I believe it's 18. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember the exact specifics, but they only came on the 1500s, but what's cool about them is, is they're gonna bolt right up to our 2500 HD today. Now, there's something special about these headlights going into an HD truck just because it never came from the factory, but it's all factory equipment. We decided to take it a step further with these specifically. We sent them to our good friends over at Legends Lighting or Legends Built as they go by on social media to take care of some of the actual paint matching of the housing inside. Now, originally I was feeling extremely courageous and I wanted to try and separate these things, but these newer headlights aren't sealed with butyl like they were back in the day. Now it's called Permaseal. And long story short, the heat up in the oven method doesn't really work as well. When we're dealing with a set of headlights that are this expensive, I didn't want to mess them up. Now, you can see here, we painted the entire housing. So this entire area has been painted. The orange amber reflector on the side has also been painted and we decided to leave chrome here on the insert of the actual lighting bezel itself. Now, while this was separated, we installed a set of diode dynamic switchback light strips that run the entire way around that are not only gonna provide a brighter daytime running light, they're also stay lit at night when this light is on, but brighter and they operate as a full switchback versus when they were factory where just this lower 
kind of third area acted as a turn signal and then disabled the whole rest of the light. Now you can see on the back here, Diode Dynamics has an additional plug that we're gonna have to run in order to make all of that lighting functionality useful. And we're gonna take it a step further. We've also got Morimoto blacked out fog lights that are full LED that are gonna go into the actual fog light housings themselves. We couldn't black out the top lights without blacking out the bottoms, am I right? Now there's definitely a good amount of work required here to get this whole process started. We gotta pull the headlights out, which requires pulling off this cover on top, pulling the freshly painted grill out, and honestly, you might have to pull off the bumper just because I'd like the space to pour a little bit. Let's get the process started. The Denali looks like, well, here you go. Now we've got this thing completely unmasked. Process to remove the front bumper, easy. Four bolts up front on the frame, one on either side, not bad, six bolts in total. Getting to the actual headlight can be a little bit of a pain, only because of the fact that there's a plastic trim piece that runs around the bottom and you have to remove the molding and, well, bring back the fender liner. So a little bit of work there, a little sketchy too, I'm not gonna lie, because this piece is a painted piece and it's nothing but simple little plastic that has to be removed in order to access one of the mounting bolts. And then of course you can see, we had to pull back this fender flare here and we had to disconnect the fender liner, but not all that bad. And this is where we're gonna take you over to what we have to do. The stock headlight is plugged in simply with one connecting harness. And we have a nice retrofitted harness from Diode Dynamics. These guys know their stuff. They make really cool wiring harnesses that also have inline relays that are all mounted up so that way you don't get any hyper flash because when you go from an incandescent LED turn signal to an LED turn signal, it's like kind of Spanish and English or oiled in water. The computer doesn't know how to compute it and it'll say, holy crap, you have a turn signal out until we adjust for the lack of amperage that's being pulled with the LED and then it shows the computer that everything is fine and dandy. So we're gonna connect one of these to the back of the headlight, one to the harness and we're plug and play there. And then all we have to do is run some more inline wiring over to the turn signals to get everything ready to rock and roll. And those are already nicely capped off here on the back from our good friends at Legends Build. Before, after, check those things out. These are the third set of fog lights that I've installed that are this style. And the jam truck specifically, by far the easiest. We've got a set on Blackjack, Dream Diesel Giveaway number eight, and we put a set on Super Duty Sam, Dream Diesel Giveaway number five, and these went on by far the easiest. Everything came apart flawlessly. Plus, we do have the new headlights installed, and whoa, look at those things. My God, they are sick. That is a quick little before and after for you guys, and uh, yeah. Big old difference. Now, I don't wanna get carried away in doing the other light yet, because this is one of those things that's like how to be a YouTuber, ideal thumbnail moment. But I also wanna take the opportunity to space out the bumper. On these K2XX trucks, it's a very simple process. You've got four bolts that are on the bumper mounting bracket on either side of the frame rail. We're gonna take them out, get longer bolts, and then we're gonna throw about a half of an inch worth of spacers between the frame rail and this bracket right here. All right guys, so I set this up to where you could do a side-by-side -side comparison of the 1500 style headlights retrofitted, all hooked up and ready to rock and roll, and then the stock 2500 headlight. They're beautiful headlights, and don't mind, and don't get me wrong, if you were to go buy those brand new, 
It would take a serious stack of money, and that's comfortably four digits out of your bank account. And as of these, they're both great headlights, but let me show you guys side by side. The bumper is only just resting there, and same with the grill. But I wanted to do this to really give you guys the full effect rather than the disassemble aspect. So here we go. We are just going to simply unlock the truck. So there you can see full illumination, no amber at all on this side. Amber, of course, stock on that side. Do a little flashy flashy. So that's your unlock button. You can see your turn signal flashing in that one area here. And on the mirror, on this side, it's the entire C and that boost auto parts mirror. Lock. Orange, amber, locking up. And then if we were to quickly remote start, it's not going to because the hood's open. Attempt number two. Boom. How nice is that feature? I love it. So there you guys go. It gives you a great effect of the before and the after. I obviously have some more work to do, so I'm gonna knock that out real quick, and then we're gonna get this thing outside. Flex fits, people wanted flex fits. Bing. It's now available for a limited time. Bing. So what do you guys think? Dang, right? It came out just unbelievably stellar looking. I mean, there's no other way to describe this thing right now. I had to get it into the kind of little dark area here because the sun is like unbelievably bright. But man, it's crazy to try and even explain the depth of this Onyx Black other than just seeing it in person. I actually ran into a few subscribers today as we were kind of out and about filming the last part of this video and they were just blown away by not only the transformation that this truck took in a very short amount of time, how it looks in its completed form, but also just the depth of this color and the quality of how the paint is just straight up like a mirror. Less about the quality of the paint, which I'm obviously obsessing over, more about these headlights and fog lights. The fog lights, I did not get paint matched because they're all black, but they went in extremely easily. Now we have a really nice, crisp, clean LED, or I guess one of you is going to have a very nice, crisp, clean LED. And then we've got these amazing headlights and big, big kudos to the Legends Build for really coming through on these things. In my personal opinion, and again, this is just a personal opinion and how I built this truck, but dang, I don't feel like any Denali should ever come with any other headlights on it. It's just a complete night and day difference. And it was really cool that you guys got to see the before and after when we were looking at this style versus the previous style. Now, those headlights are for sale, so if anybody wants them, I'll get you guys a nice deal on them. I'll get them shipped right to your house, nice and safe and sound. But here's where we are, and you guys saw the functionality even in that little cinematic sequence where the entire strip is now a turn signal versus when it was factory, where about just this much of the bottom of this light acts as a turn signal. And of course, it's in sync with the mirrors from Boost Auto Parts, and it just looks incredible. I can't believe how low it is. It rides so well. A lot of you guys are asking questions about the overall ride quality, and I gotta say, it is straight up unlike any other HD truck that I've ever ridden in before because of the fact that it doesn't have that big overload spring in the rear any longer. Of course, it's right up on the top, and it makes the back end of this thing squat down. <sighs> So, so, so good. It's very hard to keep the fingerprints off of though. I'm not gonna lie. Luckily, the ceramic coating helps tremendously. And that brings us to the last and final takeaway of this video and of this specific build series. This is Dream Diesel giveaway number nine. So not only can you get triple entries right now for a chance to take that absolute beauty home, arguably one of my favorite trucks ever because it's a Denali and it's black and it looks the way that it does, but also $10,000 on top of that prize. Now we do have flex fit hats available on the site right now, as well as a slew of other new things like designs, t-shirts, hoodies. We do have new key tags up on the site right now. And one of my newest ventures, coffee. Yes, that's right. Grindhard Coffee Company is now live. If there's one thing that you guys know that I absolutely love, it's coffee. I am a very naturally high energy person, but I do depend on coffee to get me going every single day. And lately I felt that I needed to get into the coffee business just because I love coffee so much. And in life, nothing is worth exploring unless you absolutely love it. And coffee and I have always been best of buds, so why not come up 
with a coffee company. So Grind Hard Coffee Company is my new brand. And not only does Grind Hard Coffee Company get you entered if you buy it through enthusiast.com, it also gets you a really top premium coffee blank. Guys, like you need to try it, trust me. Believe me when I say that, because I can't drink anything that's not the absolute best. And that's just kind of how I go about living my life. So yes, you can buy coffee for the first time ever, and you can get entered to win a Denali by buying coffee. I honestly think that this is the greatest thing since like sliced bread, but I'm biased. So it's uh, extremely cold outside today and I'm gonna wrap this video up right now. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and thank you all for your extreme excitement over the Denali build. I know it was different, but that's the objective for 2020 is to do things just a little bit different. And we did that. I don't wanna get rid of this truck because it creates the craziest attention grabbing reactions. And just the way that it looks, it's so menacing, it's so low, it's so wide and it's completely blacked out. There's nothing that compares, I'm sorry. This is just kind of in a league of its own. And truly, one of you will have a truck that is unlike the majority, to say the least. Plus, I mean, guys, it's a Denali. It's completely fully loaded with everything you could ever want. And speaking of, oh, I just had to jump back inside because it's so stinking cold. But look, look, look at, look at this, look at this. Guys, I mean, can you see yourself in this truck? I can see you in this truck. With that said, my like league, I love you guys. Do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next upload.